Hi, I'm Paul Dupli. I'm head Latin Martin Brazil Yard Cora. I am starting right now 10 year old in Ukraine. It's Cossack horses. It's do it Cossack show professional one nine years. But it's very dangerous job, you know, and start too many broke legs, hands, you know, and I come in and islands try to do it racing yards. So and stay now 19 years in Ireland, so happy you now. I ride out horses every morning, you know, check legs, you know, if horses caught, do it bandage, put ice horses, keep horses happy, you know. It's 28 horses only, five people, riders, one yardman. So it's nice, like family, small family, you know. Very locally for the industry, like this, lots of fellas from Ukraine came with, you know, a vast knowledge of horses, but not race horses, but uh, they quickly adapted to the way of, of training race horses and, you know, to care of horses. Apart from being, you know, a great worker, he's probably loyal to in the years when, you know, it was tough. Um, he does whatever has to be done, gets it done. He's there first thing in the morning, and it doesn't matter if it wasn't finished till half six in the evening, it's the same way. When I came in Ireland, well, very little English, you know. It's now improved. <laughs> ah, it's nice country, nice small country, you know. It's not too cold in winter time like Ukraine, you know, better weather, you know. So, I like horses anyway. It's 20 horses in Ireland. My son, my wife stay here, so everybody happy. Hi, I'm Jerry Hanratty. I'm assistant manager at Meadowcourt Stud here on the Curran County Kildare. Meadowcourt is um, a breed to race operation, so everything we breed will go on to race here for us. And um, yeah, it's great to come into a place and make your own stamp on it as well. And um, I'm quite lucky here. We've a, we've a great team here, and we're all you know we're all here. We all have our own specific um, abilities, and, and and we work very good as a team. I think the manager Kieran done a great job, and here and. Um, you know, it's onwards and upwards, and hopefully there'll be a few stars will come out of this place, you know, some future derby winners and Oaks winners, and hopefully we'll have great success. The main job I love here is the foaling. I'm just, I love it. I love the foals coming out and being born and looking after them, and, and then even seeing them years to come racing. It's just, I always had a great buzz um, following uh, the foals on the racetrack. Especially ones that, you know, started off with a bit of dystopia, a bit hard to get out, maybe shouldn't have been alive but you played your part and you helped them get out from difficult foalings and then just to see them racing and even win races just uh, that's where I always got my buzz and, and watching them and seeing them going through sales rings you know um, I know that won't here we're a, we're a breeding operation so we have to watch them it's even better we get to see them racing their colours here and it'll be uh, hopefully exciting times ahead and seeing how well they do. Well we have a few horses in training um, in France and as corners they retire um, they'll come here and hopefully we'll get them back in foal and We'll produce winners as well, and, and you know, but hopefully now, as it said, plenty will retire, and we'll get them here then and breed on. Oh, it's amazing! Like I've I've been watching people get nominated, and I've seen the awards, and I've just always wondered what what had happened to me, and just the fact I am a finalist is just amazing. It's an amazing feeling, and very proud of it. And I've come across so many good people in the industry to be nominated and a finalist is just it's, it's a great achievement, and I'm very proud of it. My name is Audrey O'Neill. I'm exercise rider and groom with John Ox Racing Stables on the car. Well, I enjoy riding horses the most, but I just love horses, everything about them, so, but riding them is, has to be the most satisfying. Sometimes the fillies can be a little bit hot or kind of nervous and that, so I actually would probably ride more fillies, so I enjoy that and hopefully settling them down and just getting them their confidence and then once they get their confidence and they're sweetened up, I think you get a hell of a lot more out of them when they're doing what they want to do. There has been some fantastic horses come through here, um, the likes of Sindar, Alan Fair, See the Stars, the, to name but a few, that there has been some absolutely wonderful horses and they're great to see and see them come along and win races like they have done, you know. 
Yes, that's a good few years back now. Uh, I rode the winner of the Ladies Derby of the Curragh, which was nice because there were a few ladies races at the time, so I was lucky to get it. And I actually beat Mr. Ox's horse a short head on the day. <laughs> but he was first to congratulate me. So. <laughs> Yes, Audrey is a special person. She's uh, uh, all about the job, and uh, she's one of these people that's always looking for work. You know, every minute she has, she's she's off. If she has a spare few minutes, she goes and she pulls a mane, or she, you know, she's turning her hand to anything, any job. She's always on the move. She's a real busy person, and always does things with a lovely, even, even temperament and even humour. She's never never in anything but a good humour and uh, she's a very good influence on people around the place and young people uh, who come in to work here you know they can look up to Audrey and she's uh, she's one of the members of staff that they can always follow and uh, she's just an all-round terrific person and a very nice person everybody likes her and she gets on famously well with, with, with everyone she meets. Yeah, delighted. Yeah, it's great to be nominated for a prize for doing something that you enjoy doing and to be nominated by Mr. and Mrs. Axe. An honour.